Welcome to 12.5 Tech. In today's video, we're diving into the world of fast and secure internet configuration using UDP Custom and Soxip Tunnel. If you've been searching for a way to improve your connection speed and privacy, you're in the right place. Stick around as we walk through each step to help you set up your very own UDP request server. Use it with the Soxip Tunnel client. First, grab your phone and open any browser. Navigate to the official UDP Custom website. Once you're on the home page, look to the top left and tap on the menu icon. From the drop-down list, select the option labeled UDP Custom App to move forward. Now, you'll need to enter your Gmail address in the space provided and wait for approval. Once you receive the confirmation that your account is approved, you'll gain access to download and use the app. If you face any problems while downloading the UDP Custom App, don't hesitate to contact me for help. After successfully installing the UDP Custom App, launch it, you'll land on the home screen. Here, tap on the UDP Premium Servers section. On the next screen, select UDP Request Servers. You'll be prompted to fill out a form, enter your desired username and password, then tap Create Server. Once your server is created, make sure to copy the server details. For convenience, paste and save them in your Notepad app so you can easily use them later. Now that we've got our server, it's time to set up the Soxip Tunnel. Go to the Play Store and download the Soxip Tunnel app. Once the download is complete, open the app and you'll be taken to the VPN home screen. On the home screen, tap the gear icon located on the left side. From the protocol options, select UDP request as your connection type now. Input the server details you previously saved. Double check everything, then hit save and return to the home screen. Finally, tap on the start button to initiate the VPN connection. If you want to verify that your IP has changed, head back to the UDP custom app and select the check IP option from the menu. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you, be sure to give it a thumbs up, leave your questions in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more tech tutorials every week. See you in the next one!